can exes be friends in a mature 40 year old that I am now? Yes. However, when we were in the league, the mindset back then, way different. Way different. <laughs> Behind the mask. What's happening, my boy? What's good, family? Another day in paradise. You know what it is. Hey, we back in the lab, we back dog. Back in it, baby. Yes, sir. Viva la vie. You know what that mean? What does that mean? That mean live life, baby. In French, parlez-vous français. Je m'appelle tout le temps. So y'all ain't even know I was nice like that, but proceed. Let's get to the show, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I just want to hate so bad. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't get to the show. <laughs> all right, look, man. Bottom line is, this shit was fly though. Yeah, it's dope, right? All right, all right. I'll give you that. So, hey, man, let's talk about it, man. Somebody challenged me the other night, and they actually pushed me into a corner because they felt like I agreed with them. Mm -hmm. And and I was like, man, what y'all what y'all talking about? Yeah, you agree? You agree? I mean, what? Just say yeah, yeah. All right, what's the point? The point was, can exes be friends? <laughs> and I was like, what? Can exes be friends? Mm -hmm. Like, even though you're in a relationship, that's your ex. Can you literally be friends with him? Mm. I was like, man, you give me to say, yeah? <laughs> Before you even giving me the whole school. Yeah, it has some context to it. That's a lot of context. Yeah. That's a lot, it's a lot to debunk here, Mr. Ray Ass. It is. I, I, oh, this could be funny. So the, it's kind of there's layers to it, right? So straight up and down, can exes be can exes be friends in a mature 40 year old that I am now? Yes. However, when we were in the league, the mindset back then, way different. Way different. <laughs> way, di way different, right? Like, I think, I think back to my 20s or something, like, <laughs> I think back to my 20s, man, if I started dating someone and I'm in the league, I'm who, I'm who I am, you know, and then my lady has... An ex that's hanging around and wants to continuously be friends and you know what I'm saying? Like text here and there and check on them, how you doing? Nah, man. She doing all right. She with me now. She 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 doing all right. So I ain't with none of that. You know what I'm saying? I think now being mature, the reality is people should be able to be friends and that be it. Or be cool or cordial and that be it. The problem comes in when there's an attraction still there from one side or the other, or if one person is not emotionally over, if that ex ain't emotionally over the other person. That's the problem. And of course, there's other layers to it, like if you have children with the, the person, et cetera. So, you know what I mean? I think exes can be friends, but how friendly are you trying to get? <laughs> That's the problem. Man, you won't sit over here and say that that foolishness come out of your mouth. Nah, no lies in the lounge. I'm I'm so serious. So serious. Run it. Mr. Ray Ass, I'm in my mid-40s right now. Right. And I am totally different than <laughs> the, the NFL. <laughs> See? It's a difference. It's laying right. to it. It's but my point I'm saying is. <clears throat> What's your definition of friend? Yeah, yeah. Like, listen, we we that's what's wrong with the culture now. We giving too many people friend passes. Yeah. You do that on dating sites and stuff like that, man. You ain't giving. I don't give out no. We nah, we ain't no friends. Yeah, it ain't no friends when you have no exes. Period. It ain't none. So you so you couldn't be cool with like one of your exes, or you couldn't have your lady be cool with one of their exes. Like in a cordial sense, not necessarily friends. Not like you ain't got to be venting to them. Like, oh, hey, you yeah, don't believe what went on, and you, I have to tell you what just happened today. Nah, you still don't have that emotional because when you're with somebody, that's supposed to be your your plan A, your everything. You know what I'm saying? You don't need no emotional plan B. 
Now nah, we we ain't asking for that. You, you know what I'm saying? But could you? Plan B's are good. <laughs> you know what, <laughs> what you know what I'm That's saying? That's what a lot of these cats ain't got no discipline out here. <laughs> right, right. They exactly. in trouble too. But you don't want to. I think the difficulty with being friends with exes, the difficulty is that. If, if that's an ex, chances are they really know you, right? They know what makes you tick. They know how to push your buttons. They know your weaknesses. So you have an opportunity if you're still friends with that ex. You know, if you're in a moment of vulnerability, you might do something that your current partner may not agree with. So I think that could be the problem. But, again, as a mature person, you should be able to at least be cordial with somebody that you, oh, that no you dated. You know what I mean? No no doubt. Yeah. I, I ain't got no problem with that, being cordial. Because it's like, I ain't got no problem. Hey, this is what cordial means to me. Because I like drawing hard lines in the sand when we talk about stuff like this. Hey, hey. It ain't no, hey, like, what you been up? Nah, that's too much. It ain't <laughs> no about what you been doing or what you been up to. So, so the kids see you, see them at the bar, and they, hey, how you doing? They see you in a while, all of that, none of that. Drake told you about giving hugs at the bar. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't, cause bro, it's too many blurred lines. Yeah. Like I consider, like you, you a brother, friend. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, brother, all of that. What I like to do with my friends, hey, Spike, man, come and meet me out for a drink or so. All right, cool, yeah. man, I come meet you. Man, I really need to talk to you, bro. I'm just kind of going through some stuff. And, you know, can we just sit down and just let's talk some life? Mm-hmm. You know what? I'll stop what I'm doing to come make sure my dog all right. Mm-hmm. That's a friendship. Yeah. But when we talking about your ex, when he already know, I just the <laughs> thought of it just <laughs> irks me. He already, like, he already know what you like. Yeah. He probably doing some of the same shit that I do to you. <laughs> so it ain't no, it's a clear line in the sand, bro. Like distinction of, we ain't no friends. And if you yeah. feel like you need to have that, I ain't here to fight you on it. Let me, at least let, let me hang you off. So they can't have, they can't have their ex as a friend and have you as they, as they man? That ain't it. No. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing how passionate that you are about this topic, bro. Like, I respect it because I know you. And I'm, I'm with you, though. I'm with you. I'm, I'm, I'm the same. There's no, there's no need for extracurriculars. And I think the, the difference is... It's what, so, it's the, what are the difference between a relationship and a friendship to you? A relationship is somebody that's true. Again, that's your, that's your, your, your plan A. That's part of will complete you as a person, right? You, 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 in my opinion, in a relationship, you're there to complement each other, right? Not complement with an I, complement with an E, complete each other. So that's what you are attempting to do, two different parts coming together to make a whole, to make each other better and still build together in your relationship. A friendship <clears throat> with the opposite sex, obviously, yeah, you're a friend, you're there for that person, but there's, you know, there's a stopping point. It's a certain time of night that is like, all right, we ain't got to text no more. We ain't got to call no more. It's like, I ain't calling me three in the morning to talk about what just happened when you left the club. That ain't that ain't respectful. But they, but they can the text bar. throughout the day though. It's not not like at late I night mean, hours. If it's a cordial conversation, and again, it's, it's layers to it. If you have a, a child with that person, it, it may be something that you're talking about that happens to be about that that child. But in addition to that, there may be something in your life that you know you may just send a text, but. It doesn't need to be your plan A. It doesn't need to be your go-to when that person is no longer in your life in that capacity. You know what I'm saying? Does it make sense? Like, I wouldn't, if I'm going through something or dealing with something in my personal life that may not have anything to do with my lady, I'm not reaching out to my ex to tell my ex, yo, you won't believe what just happened. That's just disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? So I agree with it on that on that aspect. However, I got, I got, Three children, right? Um, and m- my youngest, London's mom. <clears throat> if there's something that we talk about that has something to do with with London, then yo, it is what it is. We have a cordial relationship. We co-parent 
great right now. Right. Are we friends? It's like, nah, we're not like just this hunky dory friends. But we're super 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 cordial is no is no issues, no drama. And I think the best part about relationships is again, is when somebody else doesn't have that emotional attachment. Then it's a little bit easier, but when somebody still has that Dude, emotional, we ain't ugly dudes. I know that, that's, and we that's don't cool. like ugly women. That's a fact. So somebody but, always gonna have a, a, an attachment. All right, but okay, but it's on you to react off of that, right? And you can shut it down. You could. You ain't got to respond to everything that comes through your phone. You ain't got to respond to every past that comes to you. We've been out, bro. We 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 know how it is, particularly in Atlanta. Yeah, they will push the envelope. Women will push the envelope, just just being one hundred. They fed X they, the they, envelope. They, they, they fed X overnight priority. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Immediately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but nah, I think it's also on that person again to be mature enough to be like, nah, this is too much, or this is too far, or no, this is out of line for the space that I'm in right now. If you're with somebody, or if you're not, and the thing, the hardest part, bro, just just keeping one hundred, like dudes are savages. Women are savages too at times, but dudes are savages. So a man, we all well, a man, a man being friends with an ex, you know why? Keep it thorough. You know why a man is friends with an ex still? Why? P- please, please enlighten us. Because you always had the opportunity to go back. Yes, sir. You always have huh? the opportunity. If you need that boring Tuesday night, nothing ain't going on. You had a one too many, and you know that yeah. ex is single. You might just that that see. time when you were talking about yeah. a few minutes ago. Well, I can just. Flip it over. <laughs> flip it I'm over. Gonna, I'm just keeping now it Now she don't get flipped over no, now when she <laughs> had one too many drinks. Nah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's you keep the going bar- to the barbershop long enough, guess what's going to happen? He be- can be the worst damn barber of all time. But I'm going to find some beauty in that cut, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find the good in that. I'm going to find something. And as dudes, we are... I would, and I'm a generalize. I'm making a generalization. As dudes, we are a little, we are a little bit more reluctant to to give a pass. Like, you know, like, nah, your shit jacked up, dog. I ain't getting it. But if I keep going and not getting a haircut, I'm gonna be like, okay, well, maybe the the he fading a little bit better on the side. Yeah. You know what? He it adds up. Definitely has gotten better from the first and the last time. And then you find yourself compromising and settling. Uh, it ain't all that bad. That's what's gonna happen when you when 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 women and men allow the other partner, the ex partner, to come in, and you still holding conversation and holding court. That's a problem. I mean, yeah. It, I mean, I came I'm with out you. today with my black and white brush. I would. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm with you, bro. Don't get me wrong. I'm with you. I just think that we should be mature enough to be like, all right, one person or the other. You either got to be mature enough to be like, this is in the past. She or he is with me now. I'm not worried about that. Or you got to be like, nah, that is in the past. I'm not letting this person interrupt what's going on when you cross my threshold, my house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you ain't mature enough, then nah, you can't have it. I've handled it. And I've had friends, bro, I've had friends that came out of town and we hung out all the boys together, and we had some some women out, lady friends out, and I, I distinctly remember one of my boys was like, yo, is this your lady? Is this your lady? I was like, nah, nah, these, you know, homegirls or whatever. He's like, ain't none of these your girl? I was like, nah, my girl, ain't, she ain't come out. She, she chilling right now. He's like, damn, bro, if these are all the friends that you have that you kick it with, I could just imagine how gorgeous your lady is. I was like, yeah. It felt good. But then it's on me to be like, all right, I'm not going to let that be what messes up my relationship because I happen to be hanging around beautiful women. Like you said, we was in the league. We handsome dudes, you know what I'm saying? Still in the 40s doing the damn thing. But it's like, yo, you you got to respect it. My lady has, has people that she's cool with. Not necessarily exes, but, I mean, men that, you know, she's cool with. I respect it. I'm just like, what, what what are you gonna what are you gonna do if your significant other is cordial or cool with somebody in the opposite sex? You're gonna run yourself crazy, you worrying about what's going on, or you gonna trust the person that you're with and just be like, you know what? 
I'm with them for a reason. Hopefully they respect the fact that we together and shit ain't popping off. Like, what are you really going to do? What are you going to be the one checking phones and stuff? Like, like we go do that? Like, it's like, come on. It's different. It's so. I like how you it's trying to flip, flip it. Shit. Yeah, it's so difficult. You flipping it because we ain't say it. nothing about dudes. We talking about exes. Okay. We talking about exes, bro. Bring it back in. Bring it back. So. Exes, how 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 you feel about it? Like for me, or for a significant other? Like you I said, is 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 layers, is different dynamics to it. You cool with being platonic friends too? I can be cool with an ex. Not to say I I need to be buddy buddy chummy chummy, and I don't expect my lady to be all extra buddy buddy chummy chummy with her ex. That, that for what? What's the purpose? Just cause y'all have a past, and it's—I mean, it's—it's it's, it's a reality. It depends on the situation. Again, if you have, have you ever been through you, it before? Yeah, of course. Well, do tell. Of course, give I've us dated, some of the I've best dated, and worst case scenario. The worst, the worst possible scenario, bro. Is what happened to, the, the, that the form or your pro- opinion? The worst possible scenario is again when you have when you have children with other. Um, with someone else, right? Or you co-parent some uh, child. Just just whatever. Like, if you have a child, right? Chances... So, for me, I was always like, there's no need for my children to feel like they have a different... Um, they have that feel torn about where they're at for maybe holidays, birthdays, or whatever. So, you know, chances are we get together. When they were younger, typically get together, and then the families would be there. So, yes, it would be myself, my lady... You know, or the father or the mother and the mother's new boyfriend, girlfriend, or father, you know, whatever it might be. So the worst case scenario might be a situation where, again, it's always on the other person where that ex is a little too friendly with the current situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you, bro, you in the past, this ain't moms no more. Grandma ain't moms no more. <laughs> like, you ain't doing that. Well, you know how you feel about you ever had one of your, Maybe her exes call, keep calling the family, checking in. But like see, that. that's what I'm saying. So stuff like that, I'm, I'm kind of like, there's nothing I could do about the family acting that way. That's adults doing what adults do. If they choose to keep that relationship prior to me getting there going, what can I do? You know yeah. what I'm saying? As long as my significant other is not acting all like we're Chummy nothing, like nothing's changed. You know what I'm saying? If nothing changed, then why are you with me? That's the bottom line. If y'all, if everything aside from a physical relationship, if nothing's changed beside the physical relationship, because emotional is still attached to that, psychological communication, different ways of communication other than physical touch. If nothing else has changed but physical, then what's the point? I don't need to be there in that situation, right? Yeah. So, so for me, I think again, it comes with maturity, though. And again, if you well, do what have, are some if, of the if, challenges if, then? What, what you think? The, some chal- of the, the challenges the again. Challenges. The hardest challenges is the hardest. Have you ever been the, through any? The Since hardest. To... Ch- the <laughs> hardest challenge is when one of the people in the former relationship is not over the other, or if one of the people, particularly if a dude is a savage and it still feel like, oh, I got something over. You know, but what I'm why saying? would he feel that way? Because dudes are savages. I just said it. Dudes are sad. dudes are ignorant. We don't know. Dudes are damn. Spice. We keep on, pursuing if you leave the door open. Dudes will pursue with or without the door open. A dude is gonna pursue, bro. They, they gonna are. push the envelope. They, they are. gonna push the envelope. But at hey, I'm in your city. <laughs> like yo, cool. What the fuck that mean? You but my then city, okay? we gotta look at the origin of the access. If they still able to send messages like that, like ain't nobody it, just. I'm just saying, like. Bro, is I am now. the most one of the most persistent persons that you will ever meet in two lifetimes. <laughs> I am not listen. <laughs> <laughs> if I put my mind to it, I'm going to get it. Absolutely. But if I find like, you know what? Maybe this just ain't for me because I'm kind of hearing on the other side that I ain't for it. But you kind of somewhat leave the door open. Oh, it's almost like let me let me put it to you in these terms. When getting the DM, oh, I didn't even respond back. 
I left it on red. Mm -hmm. Oh, so just because you didn't say nothing that's supposed to mean you don't want it? You got to tell me. That you got a DM? No, I'm saying the act of moving towards it because of the action that was happen that had happened. Mm. I, uh, I think, so here's the thing I would say about that with social media, right? It's different from when we came up. It wasn't no social media. So you didn't have instant access to uh, other people like that on so many different platforms. All you had was a phone number. That was the only means of communication. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't emailing each other back then. So you really had a phone number. So if you had a phone and they started texting, that was your means of communication. Now it's social media. So if you see someone on social media on all of these platforms, chances are somebody's going to cross your feed because you still know the same people. So yes, if somebody DMs them and they leave them on red, for me, I'm kind of like, all right, you say you ain't respond, you ain't respond. That's what it is. Like, I'm not going to trip because somebody else was a... Again, a savage trying to DM somebody that, you know, in, in a relationship with. That, that's all the time. We'd be dumb to think, bro, we'd be dumb as hell to think that as gorgeous as the women that we date are, that somebody's not in their DMs. Might be an ex. Might be somebody with a blue check. But we're talking about dumb, it exes, might be an ex. It might be, it might be an ex. It be dumb. I'd be dumb as hell to think that, yo... Over all of these years that we've been dating women, that one of their exes ain't sit there and say, hey, how you doing? Just checking in on you. Oh, you look good. Or, or give a heart eyes or something. That's stupid to think that, bro. But I just ain't letting my mind go there because I, like I would like to think that the woman that I am dating is not entertaining that shit. I'd be dumb as hell if I sit there and <laughs> put my mind into <laughs> really worrying, but that's about, the reality. worrying about what's in someone's DM. Like, to me, an ex... I be dumb, bro. That who gonna drive you gonna drive yourself crazy worrying about that? Then what you gonna do? So no, you gonna, what, I'm not saying you have to drive yourself crazy. What you gonna do though? What's the reality? What are you gonna do if some if, if somebody saying, if, if you date someone? And I'm this just is, saying from an ex standpoint, going back to if the, you date someone and their ex reaches out to them, what are you gonna do? Nothing. I'm gonna just see and watch what what happens. You right. handle that, right? Yeah, so we're on the same page. Yeah. So, again, we'd be dumb to think that it would not happen because we are attractive dudes. I've had exes that reached out, hey, just checking on you, seeing, and guess what? It's like, oh, psh, I'm straight. That's in the past. Or they're attractive women. Hey, I'm just checking on you. You would like to think that nothing happens. That That's, that's the relationship that you should have with whoever that you're dating that they are not entertaining that ex. In a, per, in a perfect world. In a perfect world. And the world ain't perfect. I get it. But damn, we, again, you're going to drive yourself crazy worrying about that? So what are some challenges of being friends with an ex? The challenges are, you know, just from my perspective is, is like, I know you friends with, with one of your exes. Like, he knows exactly what, what turns you on. And because he's your ex... He knew before me. <laughs> and you know, as a dude, right? We take pride off of being the first one. We like to get up there and put down the sword and be like, I conquered this thing. Step the flag, put the flag yeah. down. Yeah. <laughs> Shit feels good, man. It does. I ain't, I'm being honest right now. Yeah. No lies no in the lies lounge. lounge. But, like, and that's and that's a problem. And it's not, that ain't so much a problem, but the problem is you allowing yourself to be accessible and the access towards it. And because I know, and I knew, well, it don't matter who knew first or not, but because you, he knew, now it's just a, it's almost like if you really want to damage cement, put a hole in it without anybody really noticing, just let the water keep dripping over and over. Oh, I'm gonna break you. I'm gonna break. I'm gonna listen. You ain't gonna be tough all the time. <laughs> Guess what? I've done it. I'm being real. So, like, that's one problem, bro. That I really like think about. That brings on. Um, it really, it just, it, it, it brings on different challenges. Mm -hmm. Another one is just like, and this is the petty people. You know, you know how to piss each other off. 
mm-hmm. and purposely interfere with the good stuff, mm-hmm. with the bigger picture. Mm-hmm. You know, look, doing little petty little things that you know from a tendency that you guys spent time with each other that, well, all right, if I can't have, I can make her miserable. She miserable, mm-hmm. you miserable. All right, I'm going to make you miserable. If you're miserable, he's miserable. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's too much damn witchcraft going on, and you ain't even in New Orleans. <laughs> here's, here's the thing, bro. I think this alleviates those problems, though. Communication. Simple. If you're dating somebody, right, and this ex is still around in some capacity, and again, I'm just speaking for me personally because the children, right, you, you're going to cross paths if it's at a, a game, a recital, a track meet, a graduation, a bar mitzvah, whatever it might be. You're going to cross paths, right? Yeah. So I think the easiest thing would be communication with your, whoever your significant other is. It's like, yo, such and such, this is what's going on. Such and such said this. Such and such did this. It's easier because now you're putting the power in your completion with you and your significant other in terms of how you deal with the situation from your ex. So whatever could be perceived as a negative, now it ain't just you dealing with it on your own and then being reactionary, like, oh, you won't believe this happened, da 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 Why you had that conversation with them in the first place? It's like, nah, this is what we talking about. This is what's going on. Boom. Just, you know, just letting you know. And again, yeah. that I've done. Like, yo, you ain't believe this. This is what such and such is saying. This is, what, you know, oh, handle it this way. Oh, I got it. You know what I'm saying? And I think that alleviates the problem so it's no surprises. That's the best way to do it. In my, and again, in a mature, perfect world, that's, I think that's how you alleviate the problems, you alleviate the stress, you alleviate the BS, you alleviate anything that this ex might do to try to get back in or to try to continuously drip at the concrete that you're building. You know what I'm saying? I always say, yo, the BS of Atlanta is never making it to the threshold of my crib in Kennesaw. That's just what I say, and I've said that since we've been in the league, bro. That's that's because we hang out, and there's a lot going on in the city. There's a lot of our past that's still in the city. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, nah, you don't let that get to you, bro. And particularly with your exes or with somebody that's been in your past like that, just have that open communication. That's the, in my opinion, that's the best way. Is it, is it a perfect world? Hell no. Nah. Am I perfect? How hard in, is it to have it's open difficult. communication? It, well, it's it's not. I don't think that's difficult. Is again, it's on you. And it's on the other or just person. To be, you it's, know, it's I'm on, just saying, like, to be able to, I mean, shit, tell the truth. It ain't, like, it, that's a hard, you know what I mean? Like, like that's that's hard. And, that ain't just a, for a guy or just for a chick. Bro, don't nobody like the truth. I always say that. Don't nobody like the truth. You run it down in any aspect of our lives. If you really open it up, like you said, yeah, that ex probably did a lot of things with your person, your significant other that you're doing right now. But you gonna let your mind go there? Cause guess what? You did a lot of stuff with that your ex too. You know what I'm saying? So don't it's just count. a reality. It don't count. No <laughs> count. <laughs> yeah, so you can't you can't flip it that way, bro. I don't <laughs> no, you gotta be a realist. I said, no lies in the land. No lies in the realist lies. with an eye. Realist with an eye. You gotta be a realist, bro. It's part. It's, yo, what you gonna do, man? Hundred to one. You know what I say, man? Hundred to one, bro. So like, listen, man. You not. You literally have to, it's not difficult to have that open communication, but yeah, it's, it's, it's the truth. You just got to be like, all right, cool. I'd rather have this communication now prior to something happening than have it later when something yeah, that happened. And then we got to be, and then we got to react to it because, yo, this person is coming back trying to say this, do this, or mention this. And then it's like, yo, why you even had this conversation with this person in the first place? I told you not to have this conversation. I told you not to respond to the DM. I told you not to answer this text. So it's, it's better just to have that open communication up front with that person. And if you have that conversation or communication with your ex, like, yo, yes, guess what? I'm This is where I'm at right now. So nah, this got to stop. We, oh. you know, we cool. You know what I'm saying? Because when, when, as soon as you get somebody else, a lot, like I said, a lot of stuff got to stop. That, that, that communication might be an ex and, you know, you go through your, your breakup period, you know, Oh, is it really over and all of that? All right. When you get somebody else, you just go like, all right, yo, the emotions are gone. So you're no longer emotional plan A. You know what I'm saying? It's time for you to go ahead and figure this thing out. 
So and that's be- just, it's just be to be honest with yourself. Like so you can lie to you can lie to anybody else, bro, but you can't lie to yourself. So what we're saying is, so what you're saying is, yes, you do agree that uh, you can't be friends with your exes. Nah, I don't put words in my mouth. I'm I didn't asking. say that. I didn't say that. I'm asking. I'm saying that there are certain situations where you can be cordial. You can be cordial. You can communicate. However, you have to be responsible on your end, our end as men, and our significant other end. They have to be responsible as well if that's going to be what it is, if you're going to be cordial. The friend, the chummy, chummy stuff, going to brunch and all of that, what's the purpose? I say like yo, you want to go to if if if, 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 if an ex come it. up, if an ex come up and say hey, what's up, yo? I know, but that's the question I'm asking. Here, here we go. It's, I'm gonna tell you how I do it. If an ex come up and say hey, I'm in town or this this that, I want to do that da, da 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 da, and tries to keep that communication going, I'm like yo, bet tell him yo, we both coming. Let's see how tough he really is. What we going? What's the conversation going to be? If my lady's out hanging out and I'm 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 kind of bringing it to to another level. If my lady's hanging out and I happen to be there, somebody sit there, she with her girls, and they try to buy her a drink and try to, you know, backdoor and all that shit. I'm like, you know what I like? Two double vodkas on the chill. So, yeah, get your drink and get me one, too. As soon as you get mine, I'm going to come over them like, all right, we good. That's different, You know bro. what I'm saying? Like, yo, that's, that's just me, though. Spice, you know me, bro. You know me, bro. Like, yo, if I promise, if that's how you feel, let me know. Say it to me. If somebody try to holler at you, or he, he want to know no. your new, if, if he if your ex one don't got your number, and he wants your new number, give him my number. <laughs> <laughs> give him my number. I start the conversation off. Let's see where this is going. And then we'll know if he, if you you know if it's real or not. So I think I got lost in translation. <laughs> this. I need you. So what you're saying is, and I'm asking, can exes be friends? I think they can. However, it has oh, to be. Man, it has to be. It has to however. be respect. Yeah, because you know it's what? However. however means it's layers. That's it means there's layers to it's it. It's a conjunction, bro. It's layers you to it, bro. You erasing everything that you said. No, but, when you say but, you erasing. When you say however, it's that means the there's same layers difference. to it. It's not. It's not the same difference, bro. It's not the same difference, man. I think they can. I think in a perfect world they can. However, there are instances where you have to be honest with what that situation is. Period. Would I appreciate it or approve it? Do I want it? No. Can it happen? <laughs> it can. In a perfect world, it can. But I, for me personally, I would prefer that is more of a cordial thing. Like I'm cool with being cordial with your ex, but it ain't gonna. Yeah, yeah, that ain't yeah. For me, it ain't gonna be no. Again, it ain't gonna be no ain't going nobody, to brunch. Ain't nobody saying ain't, you got a gun. Nah, man, we ain't doing. You gotta wake that. up hundred miles in, per hour. You're not invited off. to the birthday party. No, you're not invited to Christmas. No, that's you're what not, friends do. You're though, not, a, two times. but you're not invited. That's what friends do. Look at me. Look at me. You can't have like. I'm the captain now. You sound like I'm you. You sound like you Burger King. <laughs> like you wanted your way out. Hey man, that's how it is, bro. I mean, yo, can they? Yes. In my world, cordial is as far as it goes, bro. Y'all choose how y'all want to rock with it. I'm just saying what I do in my world. I agree to disagree. <laughs> so they can't be friends at all. No. For what? It's a bit, you know, it's billions of people in the world. Find some Go other find friends. Find another friend. That's what you do. Why you act like you talking to me with this, man? <laughs> Passionate conversation right now. Hashtag no lies in the lounge, damn it. No lies in the lounge. So has there ever been a situation where you had to confront an ex for getting a little too more re-familiar with somebody you was dating? Allow me to reintroduce myself. <laughs> Nah. You know what I had one time? And th- this is, we were technically not together. Mm. You know what I mean? But we were seeing each other. And, uh, and. <laughs> All right. We were not together. Okay. But we were really seeing each other. But it just wasn't so much on blast. You know what I'm saying? So, but um it wasn't it wasn't necessarily a bad altercation, but it was just like, I'm like, oh, this like 
Shawty just being persistent over here. I think I remember this too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't. You don't remember. You don't I do remember, remember this. It. I promise I do. No, you don't. No, you don't. I ain't gonna say it. What I promise I do. So, but it, it it got to a point to where, and he was already really like, like you say something is it's on escalate. But because we didn't have a title, I had to check myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, but I was like, you know what? This really got a chance to escalate into something. And I really don't want it to turn into that just because Spice can't be affiliated with that. I can't be associated with that because of who I am. So I just did it to play away. I already knew what he was drinking. Got a drink. Got what he was drinking, pulled it up. I said, bro, come on over here. Oh, what's up, dog? Let's get past the small talk. I got you a drink. Me and you finna have a drink. And we gonna have some clear understanding after we get finished with this conversation. Now, it's cool if this where you want to be. I just need to know, oh, you won't be respectful about it? Or it's like, y'all got something really going on? Bro. Look around. I say, look. He was like, what you talking about? I say, there's plenty of them in here tonight. I can maneuver which way I need to. But me and you need to be on the same page. Because quite honestly, I've accomplished too much. And you still got to accomplish what you need to accomplish. Mm -hmm. So we ain't going to let the little picture be the big picture. So let's, let's stay focused tonight. And from that conversation, that was my way of like really unplugging his energy. Yeah, you took the power. I took it. Yeah. And it it actually worked. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was expecting for it to work, but I didn't know how he was going to receive it. But I, I think just, you know, the respect that I had and all of that. But that was the closest I've ever been in a situation to where like you thinking about an ex or you having to check an ex or something like that. Yeah. But what I do believe that this conversation is a little one-sided. Yeah. Well, you playing both sides. You over that skipping rope, playing <laughs> damn hopscotch. <laughs> <laughs> I, you doing all of it. So we, I, I do think we need to bring in uh, a, a lady representative yeah. and, and, and let her really tell her story. And by the way, if y'all have any good ideas of who might that person should be, mm-hmm. do you think it needs to be an athlete? I mean, I think an athlete would be dope, you know that what I'm saying? Because be you give two different sides of the, the perspective, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that would be dope. So, yeah, we we, we need to do that. We do, let's do that. Let's yeah. plan it. Book it. Yeah. All right. Make sure y'all, y'all message us, you know what I'm saying, at the BTM podcast, everywhere you consume the podcast content. Wherever you seeing this or listening to this at, let us know who y'all want to see on the show. We definitely going to reach out and try to get them on. But, yeah, I think that would be dope, man, because – you, I don't know what you're talking about over there, neither, bro. I don't know what you're talking about, Mister Hopscotch, <laughs> Mister Skip Rope, Mister However, hey Mister But. I'm a, however, I'm a pause. I'm a realist. <laughs> <laughs> Spice. I'm a realist with an I, bro. That's it, man. That's it, man. Say less. You know what I'm saying? We so gonna let's boot do up it. for for the next run. Part two. Let's do it. Part two. Can exes be friends? Let's figure this thing out. Salute. Behind the mask.